Pilates mat. We're going to start here on the mat. In today's class, we're going to use the ring, one Pilates prop, the ring. If you don't have a ring at home, you can order one online or you can come into the club. We've got a whole selection of rings here in our group exercise studio. So just make an appointment to come by to the club and just let them know you'd like to rent out a ring. And then you'll be able to use our Pilates mat classes. Sometimes we use the ring, one prop. Sometimes we use the roller in the ring, two props. So we'll start our workout today, Pilates mat with the ring, also called Pilates magic circle. So here's the runway of your mat. If you'll come out to one edge, you can use your feet as we go through onto the floor or the mat. But we'll start just sitting into the mat with your feet out to the front. So here's a gentle C-curve spine as your arms come in under you. Exhale the air from your lungs. Take another breath moment, that exhale breath moment. We really feel the inner activation, the deeper abdominals to your spine. And then we'll just walk down your legs till you come out flat to the mat. Peeling out the lower back, middle back, upper back, into the mat. So pre-Pilates is just to take a moment to center. Of course, you want to come out from anything that's just head driven, your emails, your computer, etc. of the day, and just take a moment to literally center, focusing inward, feel your breath, a pre Pilates stretch, ankle to your thigh bone, take your leg in a little, send it back out. So you're feeling that tailbone anchor point, and this leg, like a little winged motion, the winged leg coming in back out, is to open your hip socket. So we'll go five here, three, in, out. Hip flexor release, releasing through the hip joint and out. And out. Now holding your knee to the side wall, out right angle. Keep feeling your tailbone imprinted to the mat. So this stretch is not only the hip flexor release, it's also giving a gentle stretch to your IT band. IT standing for iliotibial band, this band that comes from the side of the leg into your pelvis. So we focus on pre pilates to get some release here, IT band, hip flexor, release, to create neurological release to the spine. Neurological tension letting go through the spine to a more length of vertebrae. As you come up from the floor, draw this leg in. So as your hands come into the leg, Gently, you can now bend this leg in right angle or a little more knee flexion, keeping your tailbone anchored on the mat. Again, leg up right angle or more knee flexion in with the knee. Keep that tailbone lengthening down. Breathe into the length of your low back. Now bring your leg up all the way vertical, a long leg, and that footprint to the ceiling. If you flex your ankle, you may feel like more length now. Sit bone out to the length of your heel bone, length to the hamstring. The flexion at your ankle, or relaxed ankle. Keep feeling that deep breath of you, the billows of breath, accordion-like air moving in, back out. This would feel good, hamstring leg, come back to your knee at right angle or knee bend in more. Keep the bent leg line. Take a few more breaths here. See if you can just feel more capacity to your breath as you feel those billows of breath, the capacity being down to the lower ribs, through that whole breath capacity up through the middle and upper ribs. The breath moving, accordion breath in and out. We'll come back down to the floor of the mat. So other side, you have now this leg as your standing leg. As the other leg comes up, it's that external rotation from the hip. We'll go in and out five times. It is just a little crease pulled into the hip joint as we're trying to release through the hip socket. 
Draw the leg in, two, maybe three inches inward, the knee towards you, and then send it back out. You may literally feel as the leg goes out and opening out, feeling through your hip joint. Hip flexor release. As your tailbone is here, your tailbone's here in an imprint, your tailbone imprinted on the mat as you draw your standing leg up from the floor. So as you come in, find that tailbone imprint and decide whether the leg feels best out here at a knee flexion right angle. Or as you hold this leg in, maybe it feels better. A little more knee flexion, keeping that length through your low back. Focusing on center by focusing really on that power of the diaphragm to feel the exhale breath. So again, leave your leg in the deep flexion or the right angle. We call tabletop at Pilates when your leg's in the exact right angle. Pilates word is tabletop leg right angle knee flexion. We're stretching that low back into the mat as your tailbone stays anchored down. You can stay with this line or go now to the full extension of the hamstring, your heel to the ceiling. That hamstring length is like the length of your sit bone, your bottom of your sit bone here, out to the heel bone. Feels good. That flexion of the ankle gives you more of that feeling of heel on the ceiling. Ankle flexion, a relaxed ankle. Feel the length through the back of your leg. Just increase this pre-Pilates stretch of lengthening to the hamstring. It's getting a little more length into the low back. As you hold that tailbone imprinted, your tailbone down to the mat. Keep stretching to that line or come back to the bent leg line. Your knees on the sidewall. The bent leg line is getting IT band, the outside rim of the leg. The IT band is the iliotibial band. Length, elongating. As so you take another moment, holding to the pre Pilates stretch. And as you're legging back to the floor, bring both legs back, footprint down. All right, so now we're going to come in with the ring. Ring in here on the parallel as your legs now are in nice symmetry. A symmetry line of hips, knees, ankles. Feel that parallel line holding to the ring. We're going to go chin to the chest position as your hands come up to the side. We're going to walk up a little bit. Hold to the ring. Exhale. Your tailbone is still down, but you come up into the obliques. So you come up under the lowest rib, up into a high C curve. Exhale. Squeeze the ring. Three into the ring. Press push. Squeeze to the ring. Your chin drops to your chest. Exhale, squeeze. Number three, squeeze. Place the ring back at your legs. Parallel legs. Reaching the fingertips. It's a little modified. Your hands are on the mat. Here we go, peeling back down. Again, your tailbone is imprinted. So if your tailbone is down, we're now peeling down through from the waist. Belly button line from your waist. Upper back. Out the top of your head. Exhale, breath. Scooping abs for this inner activation through the exhale breath. Scoop is a Pilates word. Take one more breath moment, really feeling that as the exhale air is going out, there's a feeling of those abs drawing inward. If you say scoop, exhale breath, scoop, walk up, hands to the ring. Hold up, your tailbone stays down, but you're up in an upper body curl, your chin to the chest, up to the waist, squeeze to the ring. Press, push, squeeze, exhale breath. Number two, inhale the air into this ring. Exhale, squeeze. And number three, exhale, squeeze. Place it back there. Very challenging. Arms out at the fingertips long to your toes. A little more modified. Place your arms on the mat. Here you are at the waist with that 
tailbone down. We're going now from the waist slowly into the mat. Peel back, upper back, out the top of your head. Deep abdominals, that exhalation to your core, activation. Exhale your chin to your chest. Walk up your leg line, so you're up towards the ring. Arms out, squeeze to the ring three, one, two, three times through the exhale. Hold the ring, breathe in. Exhale, squeeze to the ring. Number two, inhale, exhale to the ring. And three, exhale out. Deep abdominals to the spine. Keep staying deep to your center as your arms are out on the mat. Here we go, peeling back, upper back, out the top of your head. Exhale, keep feeling a deep imprint of your tailbone. That tailbone is an anchor point feeling. Tailbone down, walk up your legs as your chin comes to your chest. You're all the way up to the waist. This is strong to the obliques. As you hold into the obliques of your waist, you're in up, up under that low ribs. Squeeze into the ring, three, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Good, back out to the leg line. Arms are out, or arms are on the mat. Peel back, exhale out the top of your head. Take a nice full breath, one more repetition. There's deep abdominals, exhale deeply to feel your inner activation. Abs, the abs are deep to the spine. Chin to the chest, walk right up. Three to the ring, one more set here. Exhale, for more capacity. Of that exhale breath. Breathe in through the nose or blow it out a straw. Exhaling. And number three, exhale air from your lungs. Good. Bring back to your legs, parallel out, arms out, heel back, exhale to the mat. We're going to go onward now, really focusing to breath capacity is to bolster your body alive with oxygen called 100 counts of breath at Pilates. Pilates is 100 counts of breath just to get oxygen through all your muscle fibers. Likewise, we go 10 sets of 10, in for 5, then we'll breathe out for 5, we'll do that 10 times. 10 sets of 10, 100 counts, it's also alive in your chi, you'll feel more to the whites of the eyes, it's the chi, the natural energy of you. So here we go, into rotation. External rotation from the hips is that Pilates V, taking the ring in above your knees, squeezing. Here goes the arms to the front. If you feel like you want a little more challenge, those abs that go a little deeper, a little more challenge to the scoop inner abs. If you go chin to the chest, take the arms out to count. Out, inhale in, exhale out. Round loop of air, in with the air, in, and out with the air, out. Gentle squeeze to the ring as you inhale, go into that ring with the exhale breath. And 40 in, to go out. Ground loop, inhale, in, exhale, out. Feel any tension now come into the neck shoulders. As you hold chin to the chest position, we want to keep the neck shoulders light and release at the neck shoulders. So if tension comes into that area, you're going to modify and bring your head back on the mat. Stay with your form at Pilates, but you can always modify and bring your head back down. Keeping the form, here we are at 70. Inhale in. Exhale out. And 80. Inhale. Exhale. Last cycle. A big loop of air cycling in with the air. In, out, exhale, X, ex, 98, 99, and 100. Good, the ring to you. Here we go in that parallel stance of the leg. You're going to hold the ring. Exhale, twist from your waist. Your legs go to one side. And breathe. Inhale, exhale, twist. May go a little to the side, a little more. Find a nice angle. As you're square, not only in the shoulder girdle, but the press of the ring will help you feel you're square with the scapula staying on the mat. These two scapula bones squeeze into the ring. You'll feel the scapula are a nice symmetry on the mat. This goes right into your thoracic. The middle spine vertebrae twists. Breathe in, breathe out. Give more squeeze with the palms or it could be forearms. If you give enough squeeze, you'll really feel how much strength you have in this high point of center where your ribs lace to your sternum is the high point. This high point of the arms coming in from the scapular stabilization. Stabilizers, the stabilization is these deep intrinsic muscles of the core. The core cylinder as you exhale. 
twist, squeeze to the right. Breathe in, breathe out, twist. So again, you can use your forearms. Start pressing with your hands. You may feel a little tense into the hands. Maybe it feels tight in the carpals of your wrist. So this may be a more preferred line in with the forearms. Keep those elbows down to the waist. We're gonna go one leg at a time, fanning your legs. You'll feel that nice hip flexor release, opening through the hip. You can go slower as you take the first leg, fanning to the second leg. You feel that nice length through the width of your low back. So slower, you may feel more of that sensation. Slow motion, a little slower through the line of motion. Creating that length into your low back. One leg, second leg. We'll go one more repetition. Exhale, squeeze. And back to that center line. Exhale, breath. Good. So here's your ring now on a single leg. As you draw that leg, it's just below your kneecap. It's not on your kneecap, it's below. It's in your shin bone, shin to your chest. Your elbows draw to you and just gently, really stretch into the sea. Those arching low back vertebrae arc around. C curve is the low back round. As your chin is to your chest, you'll be in a full C curve. But Pilates work is the C. The vertebrae arch around. Exhale, come forward and up. All right, so we're gonna go side leg series. And this first one in our side leg series, as we'll start on one side of you, you can come in with your leg on the floor of your mat or out to the floor in front of you. But you're gonna place your ring above your ankle. We have very gentle tendon ligament lines at the ankles. Be certain it's above those tendon ligaments as you go into the ring. Your shin bone line, one leg, second leg. Pilates V, come into your side plank. Squeeze to the ring. This is tall and lifted in the waist, but if it's not a good pose for you today, maybe something is just a little tight in the neck shoulders, doesn't feel good in that tall plank, you can modify and go all the way down to the mat with your head to your hand or all the way out flat on the mat. So again, flat, hand to your head or up. So here's a squeeze to the ring, exhale, press in. Both legs are working, the standing leg is working. You'll feel this Pilates inseam of the leg, standing leg, top leg. There's a nice tweeze to that inseam. That exhale is the inseam postural line of your legs. We stand and walk from this deep structure line. That inner thigh line is gonna feel like zip of the jeans in through the core. Exhaling there from your lungs. So I'm just counting these because I'm letting you go a little more quick like a pulse or maybe slower with a more hold line down. But keep feeling your pace as you exhale to that line, down, back up. You'll really feel much strength we have. We have an adductor which is in your thigh, but the Pilates muscle is actually really connected to your breath. The adductor is more periphery, it's external. The most internal one of your inner thigh is the psoas, as it's called, the psoas. It is literally connected to the core. So as you exhale, really feel that's a connection feeling integrated inward as you exhale the air from your lungs. Good, one more time, press, push, squeeze to the ring, and back up. Here goes the ring to you. So it's here with your arm, pressing with the palm or your forearm, press in. Your legs are gonna trace that circumference size of the small circle, pencil trace your circle line around, and around, and around. You'll keep working from that end, maybe a smaller chalk mark of the toes of a smaller circumference line where you can really still feel that control. It's called the powerhouse, that structural muscle group of that inner thigh line connection. Reverse your circle around, keep working from that inner inseam, that inner body line, sending the leg around and around.
Come back and heel to heel, the standing leg is to the front. Check your alignments, we go to number three in our leg series today. Maybe again you want to modify now, come down into the flat line of your hand at your head, or all the way flat to the mat. Your arm could be out, maybe flat feels better on the mat. Otherwise, hold the side plank for more, a little more challenge into the long, tall lift up with the leg. That inner thigh line strength now is drawing the leg up to the ceiling, a little heel tap up to go up. Draw into the deepest strength and you'll feel that muscle fire, the working line, inner thigh line, the postural line, in up, in up, tap lift, tap lift, exhale down into the ring, strong from the core cylinder. One more exhale breath through that line. Hold there when you're ready. Upward, take two legs out, control lift. Come back to the mat. We're gonna do one more in the side leg, number four in our side leg series. Check your alignment, you're still on a nice square line, shoulder to the hip, with your legs to the front. Come up, bottom leg forward, top leg to the back, come back in. So scissor could be a little, little range of two diagonal legs out, a little smaller or a little bigger line, but scissor with that line of into the heels. Into that inseam line, think like magnets. Draw in through that inseam strength, in, exhale. Exhale, in, draw in, in, out to come in, heels, magnetize the feeling of that exhale, inseam strength, exhale, in, two, one, hold in, bring your legs to the mat, we'll come right up, bring up to sitting for a moment, bring your ring with you, as you sit out here with the Pilates V to the front, that external rotation from the hips, take the ring in above your ankles. Sit tall as though you had your torso up against a stiff back chair. Now this ring inseam really is a strength from the base. Up and in, as you say, scoop and lift. Those abs draw in, but that exhale is the up feeling. That when I draw in, it's an in and an up. Lift, go opposite arm to your leg, hold to a twist. Once you feel that rope waist middle, your thoracic spine. Then gently look over the back shoulder. Length to the neckline, your cervical spine, the neckline. Take more exhale breath to look way back. Exhale breath. Feel that inner concentration to feel the twist lift. Spiraling, spiral up into that twist. Lift and spiral, lift and spiral. As you exhale the air from your lungs. One more exhale breath, a deeper twist. And we'll rattle gently. Take a breath moment back to symmetry of your shoulders over the hips. That square box is a Pilates where you can feel a nice alignment squared. Shoulder to shoulder, hip to hip is square, but likewise shoulder to hip. This Pilates really brings you through your day. You either have a box torso through the day, but it's that exhale that defines the center, the core of the body. Exhalation to this core, activation, scoop and lift, twist. Opposite arm to your leg. As you exhale and feel your thoracic, the middle spine is taking like rope waist feeling. It's really taking a twist feeling. It may take another deep breath of you to really feel a rope waist, a twine twist to the middle. Then add that neckline twist cervical spine as you look over that back shoulder. You can breathe even slower to that exhale so you feel the spiral up and in. There's a spiral feeling as you exhale, spiral lift. 
Exhale, twist. One more exhale, go as deep as you can. Range through your vertebrae. One, rattle gently through the neckline, then through the waistline, come back. Take that stiff back chair feeling, a postural lift as imagery as you had a chair to sit to. You can feel the sit bones down. You can feel the draw in that feeling, a postural lift as you focus inward to feel your breath. Exhale, tall to the center. So we're going to take the ring with us to the other side. Our four, we're going to go four sets of reps in the side leg series. So as we do it on the other side, we'll do the same here using the ring. It takes a moment to really feel that it's not on the tendon ligaments of your ankle. Those are delicate ligaments there, tendons. So let's come above the ankle joint. Bottom leg, top leg. Your legs are out to the front in that Pilates V. Inseam to that inseam line, you're tall on the plank. So once you squeeze to the ring, as all the strength is here, tall waisted feeling. If you feel tense in the neck shoulders on this side, is when you're going to modify. Come down, hand to your head or all the way flat. Your arm could be out long, you'll be flat on the mat. Take a breath moment, feeling your alignment. If you want to feel the strength from the middle, this may take another alignment moment, likewise with the ring. The quad is props. You can also go without the prop, but here we go with that ring. Exhale, down in. Down in, exhale. A tweeze feeling, both inner thigh lines, as it's called psoas, that deep inner, inner inseam, inner body line of our postural inseam legs. Tweeze and feel those inseams like zip of the jeans. Exhale, breath. Deeper if you can. It's called powerhouse. It's a name for this muscle group, this deep inner structure. Powerhouse, we have a little muscle group, that deep inseam inner thigh, connecting into these deep postural muscles at the base of your spine. There's a group of muscles there that works through each Pilates form. So it just has a word, a name for that muscle structure. Exhale, in and up. You're working in and through the powerhouse, that inner structure of muscle. One more exhale breath. Good. So here comes the ring to you. Take a moment to feel you're still aligned. Maybe your hips scooted forward as mine did. I have to scoot back now and find that my hips are still square to the shoulder line. We're going to use the ring to get more strength and development to the scapula line. So as you use the ring in front of you, it can be the palm of your hand or your forearm in. Press to that ring, small circle of the leg. Your toe is now tracing a circumference circle like a diameter circle of your magic circle your ring at pilates trace that now with the toe line around and around maybe like a little smaller but it's a precision of the toe reaching should feel like white to the eyes as you go in the navel the spine to send that line out to go out around and around other way around circle circle around and around keep working from that inner body line exhale breath Come back and heel to heel. Number three, the third one, number three of our side leg series. We're still holding the ring as the legs to the front, draw the bottom leg from the mat. It's gonna tap with a tiny line, it's maybe quarter inch, really tiny, even smaller feeling, but you'll feel much strength you have to have in your thigh line. A little tap like a pulse, a little tap, pulse up, up, heel to the ceiling, work to the inseam, lift, lift. We want more and more strength into that deep postural base of the spine as the leg connects into that base of strength to have great posture. We want strong inner body muscles 
supporting that length of the spine. Hold to that line, two legs out, take a breath moment out, come back to the mat. One more number four, our fourth one in this leg series. Hold to the ring, here's your two legs up, scissor out, back in, in, out, in, in. Exhale, heels like magnets, draw in, feel it there. Feel it there, you can feel the zip, as we call it, Pilates. That's the name, the keyword. word, white side eyes, key word for that inner structure of muscle. Feel your zip, inner thigh line zipped, back out to come in. Zip in, in, exhale, in, in. Two more reps, in, to come in, come back to the mat. Press into your ring, bend your knees, gently come up, we're coming back up to sitting. Here you go, exhale, breath. This time your legs are in a parallel. Your ring holding to your legs, so you can really feel your sit bones. The muscles that are down there at the base of the spine, again, get strengthened. And as you exhale, of course, our real work today world is parallel, the symmetry, hips, knees, ankles. But you'll feel that when you go to rotation, the Pilates V, if you're just in there, is to get more development into the inseam. So when we come out to our work a day world, as you would be in parallel sitting to a chair, you can feel there is, right see guys, there's an inner body feeling of strength. You can feel that strength in the base line, the inner thigh line coming like to a deep seat belt of low abs that connects up and in. Take one more breath, sitting tall, postural lift. Back up to the side of the mat, bring your ring with you. So you're going to sit about midway or one on the side, you want your feet on the mat or on the floor in front of you, but bring your ring with you. You're going to go gently into a C curve. Hold now into the ring as you arc your low back. Very gentle here as you feel these lumbars, these low back vertebrae arc in. Feel comfortable on your sit bones, but then gently arc in, around the in. A lumbar curl, then you feel your middle back, chin to the chest, a full C curve of the spine. Hands hold the ring, exhale breath. Just taking a breath moment to feel your chin to your chest. As we say scoop, you can feel the exhales, the feeling of abs inward. Exhale, you feel the scoop of abs to your spine. One more breath here, just from the depth of those lumbar vertebrae. I think maybe a little deeper stretch here, the lumbar curl, a low back arcing. Feel the full C curve, your chin to your chest. All right, so we go up down in that C. We're gonna go to a low C, back up to a high C. We're gonna create range in those vertebrae. We'll go to a low C, high C by holding one leg out, out to the ring. Pilates being rotate out from your hips. That external rotation, your heels will be at the center line. Choose one leg to go out to your ring. You go long arms, your legs will zip. So take one more breath, that's that Pilates word, that inseam of strength. Exhale, feel that inner thigh line zip. Your up, bent elbows, you come up just to where it feels good. Your bent elbows, your sternum is at your kneecaps. Exhaling, come back down, long arms, exhale, stretch. And up, lift. Back So again, you can go too far. This is a real deep feeling of precision, alignment, really deep into those two Pilates principles. If you went too far, you come out of center, you feel tension, come right into the next shoulders, you're up out of center, you're up out of the C. So it's very gentle, a length into the low back with your arms straight. When you bend your elbows, you feel much just you go into that bent elbow line where you go sternum towards your kneecaps, you're up into that higher C, the higher C curve spine. Exhale, come back to the lower C.
You know what that high C curve is? So you can think like tassel pull, we're pulling out those vertebrae. When we're out to a lower C, there's a lengthening out, whatever's tight here in the vertebrae or disc, there's creating more length through that vertebrae line, low C, exhale, long arms, come back up, scoop and lift, bend times, higher C curve. One more exhale to the long C, we're going to go long arm, arm leg. Take this arm with you in a low diagonal, find that spiral through the middle, the waistline twist, then a gentle twist to your neck as this airplane arm is up diagonal, go over those low fingertips. Take one more exhale breath as you hold to that twist, this leg stays long, heel press, we're lengthening into that hamstring. Hold to the twist. Take a shrug or shrug, roll your shoulders just to check in at the neck and that shoulder line, upper traps still feel light and release. We're going to do the other side, a second set of reps. Exhale, feel that scoop, the inner activation as you exhale there from your lungs. We'll go other side. So, here goes out to the ring. That leg goes out. It takes a moment to feel your inner thigh line, that zip of inseam strength. As you're holding to that hamstring length, sit bone out to the heel bone. Exhale breath, you're out to that low C curve. Exhale breath. And bending your elbows, we're going to go very gentle, slow. Always first two, three, seven, seven, four. Slow, gentle reps to start your reps. So you feel your alignment. We're lined now sternum towards the kneecap. You have to feel where that line is. Holding to center versus out of center. That's when you feel tension or a strong hold of tension at the neck shoulders. So feel the high C as you're ready to go back out to straight arms. Elongate out to a low C curve. In a high C curve. And back out to a low exhale breath. Straighten the elbows, you're still trying to lock your elbows, but just elongate through the elbow joint, elongate your elbows, you're up straight arms, all the strength to the core, come up to that higher C, keep your chin to the chest, the higher C, elongating through that vertebrae line, you gently go out to a lower C. If you want to move slower, so the two fills you say powerhouse, this inner structure is the inner thigh line zip, which you feel like zip of the jeans, you can feel you're working in and through that inner body strength, exhale breath. Feel the scoop, those abs are drawing inward, scoop that Pilates here, you can really feel as you go down long, see that feeling of scooping abs, or scoop of abs to the spine. 
And one more rep, feel your high C. Lengthening the vertebrae as to the low C. Exhale, breath. Good, same arm to leg, you've got the twist. This is that hamstring leg, your long sit bone out to that heel bone. Visual that tweeze in her thigh, the zip through the inseam to go out, twist, rotate, spiral at the middle, gentle twist to your neck, a low diagonal arm. Look out over those low fingertips. One more exhale, breath for deep, deep core control as we come back from this line. You're gentle with the neck, your chin is down towards your chest. Strength to the core as you exhale, deep twist. We'll come back gently, the neckline, then through the waistline. Come up, we'll come up. Two legs in, we'll go out with that ring, out with the ring. For a moment here, it's out on the floor. Take your arms to your legs, and just hold your arms to your legs. Exhale, seat curve spine. Let your shin drop to your chest. Take one just to check in with the shrug or shrug. Roll your shoulder line back. You feel the release of the neck shoulders. And we'll bring the ring back in. Go into the mat. Peeling down. Come down slow as you can go. Hold to the ring. We'll unravel from that C. Vertebrae to a vertebrae. Unraveling, you find length into the low back. To the middle back. To the upper back. One long line. Tailbone at the top of your head. So your feet can be on the floor in front of you or on your mat, but squeeze now down in with that ring till your elbows touch to the line of the mat. Exhale, press to the ring. Take a moment, you may really feel as you focus inward into the body awareness, you can feel there's a longer feeling through the spine. As you really elongate it through the vertebrae column, it feels like a longer column of vertebrae, you can even like stranded pearls, it feels like a longer length. Tailbone at the top of your head. We'll focus to a cleansing breath. One deep breath, the biggest capacity to your rib cage, like the biggest balloon of air, the biggest lung capacity of an inhale. We're going to squeeze to this ring in as we slowly empty. The cleansing breath is an emptying of your lungs. Breathe that air in, the biggest capacity. Here we go, deep, slow, exhale, breath. Good, so you're take a twist into your middle, thoracic spine. Your knees will go to one side as your arms are to the other side. Here's your elbows down to the mat. So you can choose now, just have the thoracic, your middle spine taking this twist. Or you can also now twist to the neckline. If you choose to, you'll twist to the neck. The cervical spine, you'll look over the low arm. Exhale, squeeze. We're taking another breath moment here, so you feel the arm really is low. In your alignment, you should feel like there's a low upper arm line of that elbow. Low enough where you feel the scapular line strength. This is called scapular stabilization. The line of these deep muscles at the high point of that core cylinder. Arm connected from core as we go out to the other side, slow motion, rep two to the other side, go slowly see for the spiral of your waist. And choose to leave your head the center line. Or find that second twist, the cervical spine length. Twist, length twist if you look over to that low arm. Feel the alignment of that low arm, elbow on the mat. Exhale, squeeze to the rear. And breathe in, breathe out, exhale, twist. This is going to stay slow, so we keep working the precision. It's the precision of the twist, two twists here, thoracic neckline twist. Back with the precision of squeeze to the ring. As you want a muscle memory of core out to the arm, the fillets from that scapula line, from the core cylinder, out into the deltoid tricep, that upper arm strength. Really squeeze to the ring, feeling deltoid tricep. Exhale, squeeze. Slow in this pace of these reps that will go slowly, twist and twist. 
Exhale, squeeze to the right. And breathe in. Exhale, twist. So again, your waist. You can leave your head at the middle or add that second twist to your neckline. Look to the low arm. And spiral through the middle, through the neckline. Exhale, twist. Give more force in with the ring, more squeeze as we feel that muscle memory that we want to have for injury prevention is to feel the stabilization of core strength as it goes from the core out, you're feeling it out from core into the upper arm. Squeeze to the ring. So no matter what workout you're doing, cardio or working with weights, you want to feel there's a stabilization at the core. Once you feel that body awareness of stable, deep core strength, out to the limbs. So here we are out to the arms. Squeeze, go out to that deltoid tricep of your upper arm. I'm going to go two more repetitions. So you can feel now you're into a deeper line. The thoracic, there's a deeper line in that twist. Exhale the air from your lungs. And come back in the square box, let your back square shoulders to your hips. So here's your elbows down into the lowest line of your ribs. Take a look for the symmetry of the arms and the symmetry of your legs. We're back to a symmetry parallel, hips, knees, ankles, with your feet planted on the mat or out to the front. If your temple doesn't feel imprinted, you're going to need to scoot back with a little less knee flexion. So you have that nice anchored feeling of your tailbone down and imprinted. Keep the tailbone anchored on the mat. Because the next set of reps starts with the awareness of the tailbone tilt, as it's called. The Pilates word is like a tail wag feeling at the tailbone line. So you want just to feel your tilt. But from the base of the spine, where we have those deep postural base muscles, our postural base, you feel that inner thigh line zip of the jeans as you tilt, feel that motion. And now here we go, tilt and bridge. Up, 
we'll come up to a high bridge up into the middle back. Exhale, squeeze to the rim. And now slowly down, vertebrae to a vertebrae, sequential, vertebrae, middle back, vertebrae, vertebrae to your lower back. Back through, lengthening your tailbone anchor point. Feel that tailbone imprinted on the mat. A tilt. The tail wag sensation is we call tilt of Pilates, a Pilates word. Tilt. Here's the tilt. Tilt, exhale, bridge. Peeling through, you can always pause, take another breath, so it's a peel down feeling, like slow banana peel, peel out slow as you want to go, peeling through the vertebrae line. So you come back to the length of your tailbone, the tailbone anchored on the mat. Feel the shrug or shrug roll the shoulder line. As always, we're staying loose at the neck shoulder muscles. Strength to that center as you tilt. Exhale, bridge. And now we're going to add the arms from that tailbone anchor point. Feel the tilt. Bridge. Once you're up into your bridge point, take the arms out to the front, sway towards your ears. While there's a range of motion, a body awareness that takes you through your day is the feeling of Pilates for the day. But any farther, you go out from center. So feel where that range is, that range of motion line. Then come back to the front. Elbows to the waist. Here we go to the peel down, the peel out, peel down through the vertebrae, vertebrae to a vertebrae, middle back, lower back, exhale to the mat. Feeling center is to feel that exhalation to your core, activation. With a tilt to bridge. Up, holding up against gravity is the feeling in the bridge. You can really feel center as that buoyancy lift up against gravity as you send the arms out. Out to your range of motion. And that slow peel down. Peeling out, peeling out, vertebrae to a vertebrae. It's sequential, that vertebrae length sequencing, sequential length through the vertebrae line. From the tilt. Again, it's a tail wag feeling, that sensation we call tilt, the Pilates word tilt. Out from center. So for injury prevention, even through the most basic motions of your day, work a day world of your day, the arms connected, you can feel they're integrated through that core cylinder, breathing for the arms moving from center. Sequential, we're sequencing through. Sequential vertebrae to the vertebrae.
Then we'll go to one more repetition. Tilt. Exhale, bridge. Feel the stabilization as you're buoyant and lifted in center. You're up against gravity. As center holds the strength to send your arms out. Button out sweater feeling, button out, button out, sequential out, through, button out, button out, sequential, through the length of your spine. With the completion of your ex, feel that tailbone is back anchored, your tailbone imprint is back down, imprinted on the mat, exhale, squeeze to the ring. Good, or use the ring to come forward and up. So here's your ring out to the front with one leg. C curve is your tailbone arcing under. It's below your knee. It's on your shin bone line as you draw in. C, the arcing low back, your chin to the chest. Feel that C curve. Come forward and up. So we're going to turn around on the mat, bringing your ring with you. You're facing this way on the mat. Place the ring on one side as you come into the other side. Parallel arms, and you're just coming in gently with your hands, your forearms. As you squeeze the ring, you'll really feel that four cylinder feeling. It's again an integrated feeling. The arms from in under the armpit, that scapula line, you can take a little pulse or just hold in to really feel how the neck shoulders are liberated. A light feeling at the neck, out to those upper traps. Light neck shoulders lift, back extension. Legs rotate out as you draw the heels to that inseam. The legs draw in, back out. Exhale in, back out. Lift a little more, in up, in up, navel spine, to send the leg out. Now do the pace, the rhythm, the pace of your leg line. Let the breath move through. You can just feel the rhythm, like the rhythm, pace of the motions of the day. Feel in your breath that exhale, feel the strength at the center of your body.
For you to feel the reach, the big toe, the leg lengthening away, go deeper in to create this line reaching out. Let one more breath move through that line of motion. Paddling your legs along, the breath moves through. Bring your legs to a parallel line. We'll leave the ring out here on the mat. As we're coming around into a seat. You'll press up to the palms. We'll then dome your spine around as you walk your hands back. You're arcing those vertebrae around your lumbar curl. As your chin comes to your chest, you're rounded in. Tailbone under. Let your chin really come down to your chest. The dangle of your neckline. You'll start to feel there's a weightedness, like a bowling ball. We say a lot of a bowling ball weightedness to the head. Scoop and lift, strong center. Sometimes we have a little tension subtlety of tension at the jawbone. Releasing that jaw. Get a little more release, supple stretch into the neckline muscle. Dangling your head. Come up to your feet. So you're going to be parallel or Pilates V. Curl the toes under. Then once your feet are flat to the floor of your mat, your arms will dangle down, fingertips towards your toes, you're in a deep seat curve. Tailbone is under, your chin towards your chest. Once you really find the groundedness, the rhythm really grounded feet, feel a nice footprint down as we're going to peel up. The first peel up feeling is the tailbone tail while under you. Tailbone comes in under. From that deep base supportive muscle line, for that inner structure as your tailbone is under. Then keep coming right up, stacking right up, vertebrae, vertebrae. Button up, stack up feeling, up, tall vertebrae line. You're tall, up out the top of your head. Bend your knees under for a moment so you can feel really there's a gravity to the feet and there's an inner body structure here that brings you to an alignment and lift, a tall center. So that tall center finish point, Thank you for doing Pilates mat today, Pilates with the ring. So we can take your ring off your mat. Remember, if you don't have a ring and you want to do more Pilates with the ring, it's also called the Pilates Magic Circle. Pilates ring or Pilates Magic Circle, if you want one of these rings. We have them here at the club. They're here in our group X studio. Simply make an appointment to come to the gym here into the club. Someone can give you a ring. So we have more workouts you can do at home when we use the ring Pilates mat. Thank you so much. Yeah.